Hello, hello, the Lord bless you. Welcome, welcome to Kingdom Upgrades YouTube channel. Hello, Facebook. Hello, Instagram. I am your ambassador, Dylan. Meet me here where the kingdom evolves into the realm of reality, manifesting in the culture where glory becomes tangible. The place of rapid transformation within transition. Come on, meet me here where there is growing excellence in glory. The Lord bless you. Thank you for stopping by. Thank you for viewing. Let's jump into this content here. The Lord said, let it be. Let it be. Let it be done in you. Let it be done in you. Let it be done in you. Let it be. Let's jump into this. First Corinthians chapter 2 verse 16. Let's look at the New King James Version. This is what it has to say to us here. For who has known the mind of the Lord, that he may instruct him? But we have the mind of Christ. But you have the mind of Christ. Amen? We have the mind of Christ. Let's look at a New Living Translation. For who can know the Lord's thoughts? Who knows enough to teach him? Come on. We know nothing. This is the time that we're going to be taught of the Lord and taught by the Lord. We're going to be taught. Okay? Who knows enough to teach him? But we understand these things. For we have the mind of Christ. You have the mind of Christ. Okay? And here what the Amplified Version has to say to us here. For who has known the mind and the purpose of the Lord? So as to instruct him. But we have the mind of Christ. And this is the purpose for which we have the mind of Christ. To be guided by his thoughts and purpose. You have the mind of Christ. That is. To be guided by his thoughts and purpose. Okay? But you know what? You don't know that quite yet. That you have the mind of Christ. Okay? The mind of Christ is to guide you by his thoughts and purpose. Are you allowing his thoughts and his purpose to guide you? Or are you guided by something else or someone else? Question to consider. This is a time and season where God is transforming and he is fixing. Are you in or out? Are you willing? Question to consider. Mighty God. Mighty God. Mighty God. God would have given us his mind, but we're not cognizant of it, the reality of it. We don't fully understand. Some of us don't fully understand who we are and whose we are. When you have an understanding of who you are in Christ, you, are, you operate at this level. You don't operate here any longer, okay? Because you have the mind of Christ. You have received the mind of Christ, but it is not awakened yet in you. The knowledge, the reality, the reality has not confronted you yet. You're not there yet. Understanding, being cognizant that you have the mind of Christ. So as to walk comfortably and confidently in that and function. There is where the transformation is important. God is transforming in this hour and he is fixing and he's rearranging according to his purpose. Are you in? Get in. There's no place to stay out. Outside don't have room for you. You need to be in. So that you will be transformed. You will become aware and cognizant of the fact of who you are. And whose you are. And then you are going to be able to walk comfortably and confidently in that identity. Come on. 
let me drop this here god is about his purpose and his agenda not ours come on we cannot manipulate god to get him to change to what we want him to do we have to be going with him okay so it's about god's agenda in this hour okay our agenda is perverted literally our plans are perverted we have to go with the plans and the purposes of god okay and if you're thinking that your plans are okay something else might be up okay something else might just be up because you have to be flowing with god in this hour not moving with a crowd but rather moving with a cloud moving with god because the cloud is guiding the cloud is guiding by day and the fire by night come on <laughs> it is the cloud that is guiding by day and the fire by night so when you're in your dark trial trials and fiery furnace the fire of god is going to guide you're going to be guided in darkness come on so you have to be following after his purpose in this hour come on so the standards are raising god is lifting the standard he's lifting the standard to that of excellence of ethical dealings and morality and that of excellence pure excellence because he's an excellent god so are you in where are you standing what is your posture what is your position get in we are following half to his agenda in this hour okay because you have the mind of christ you have you have the mind of christ that is to guide you into his purpose his thoughts will guide you into his purpose and plan in this hour mighty god Not until you know who you are, you're cognizant of who you are, you will be able to operate at this level. Unlike that, you will be operating here. God wants to take you up. He wants you to operate from here. Come on. So, we're going. It's important that we understand that god is raising the standards isaiah 59 19 declares that when the enemy shall come in like a flood he is not a flood the spirit of the lord will lift the standard so god is lifting the standard in this hour okay the spirit of the lord will lift up the standard and the standards are being raised in this hour Amen. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. The Lord bless you. Lord, come your kingdom, come your will, be manifested, be made evident in and through our lives individually in earth and vessel and on earth. Come on. The Lord bless you. Shalom.